words. They're great, right? We love them so much. Boy, can we write them. We can even read them. Sometimes out loud. I know, right? But disconnects happen, and what's on the page doesn't always quite translate properly. So who cares? You're a writer, not a pronunciationizer. But okay, down the road, any day now, really, you'll be a famous author, right? And you'll get the brilliant idea to read a chapter at your book signing aloud to your adoring fans, and I think you know where this is going. So to get you started, so helpful. Here is a quick list of 10 commonly mispronounced English words which speak very differently from how they read. Number one, epitome. The perfect example of a particular quality or type. Not epitome or epitome. Number two, quinoa. A herbaceous annual plant grown as a green crop primarily for its edible seeds. Not quinoa or quinoa. -ya -ya. Number three. Ennui. A feeling of listlessness or dissatisfaction arising from a lack of occupation or excitement. Not ennui. Or inuai. Number four. Crudite. Assorted raw vegetables served as an hors d'oeuvre, typically with a sauce into which they may be dipped. Not crudite. And not crudite either. Definitely not that. Number five. Facade. The face of a building or an outward appearance that is maintained to conceal a less than pleasant reality. Not facade. Not even facade. Oh dear, no, not that one. Number six. Carafe. An open topped glass flask, typically used for serving wine or water. Not carafe or car -aff. Number seven. Segway. A smooth transition from one topic or section to the next. Not segui or segua or definitely not all those ride on thingies. Number eight. Quiche. A savory open flan consisting of a pastry crust filled with eggs, milk or cream, cheese, meat, seafood, veggies, and it's definitely not quiche or quickie. <laughs> Number nine, facetious. Treating serious issues with deliberately inappropriate humor. Not facetious. Or facetious. Number 10. Allegory. A story, poem, or a picture which can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning, typically a moral or political one. This is not allegory or allegory, anything like that. So there you go. Now you know. Boy, are you happy. Your life is complete. You could not possibly want for more. So go! Use these fancy words. Impress people with your wit. And don't hesitate to correct them if they get it wrong. They'll totally thank you for it. So that's it for this list. But with many, many words out there, seriously, there's a lot. I mean, you could fill a book. We'll probably do a few more of these down the road. So helpful! Please join in the conversation by commenting below. What are some words we didn't list that you've been confused by? Did you learn anything new from this video? And hey, while you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're not already, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos. See you next week. Until then, during, and after, stay weird.